I love makeup and I try everything. Uh, I experiment a lot. And I have a makeup artist, Daisy Schwartzberg, who is so helpful uh, in finding me new products. And we also have a fantastic beauty editor here at Martha Stewart Living, Melissa Goldstein, who's just incredibly helpful with all her advice. But she agrees with me that switching products, not using the same thing day in and day out, will also not only teach you about what's best for your skin, but also give you an opportunity to try new products. I use two things first on my skin in the morning. Uh, so I don't go out of the house without, once I put the sunblock on, I will also use a uh, moisture bound tinted, um, tinted moisturizer. This Amore Pacific I, I'm just addicted to. I love this. But you could use also a Laura Mercier or a Bobbi Brown. Uh, those are good high quality products and it's just a light, light shield on your skin that evens out your skin tone. Then if I wanted to a little bit more makeup, I love this Clay de Peau foundation. This is a fantastic thing. It's called Refining Fluid Foundation, and it also has an SPF of 24. This is uh, something very nice, and it's just a little drop goes a long way. This is so creamy and so smooth, and it covers well. Another thing to cover if you have any marks on your skin is this. Another little secret. This is Yves Saint Laurent. It's called Touche Eclat. And if you don't know about this, this is for circles under your eyes, a little bit of darkness here or in the corners, and then my essential Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder Natural One. This goes for everyone. It is the best. And use the biggest, fattest blush brush that you can find, like that, very light, and it's like this, and on your, here on your jawline, and up on your hairline. And if you want, just all over your face and you look like you have a tan without having a tan. It is great. And now for your eyes, I have a white eyebrow, so I use this MAC eyebrow pencil. It fills in my eyebrows very nicely. No big dark eyebrows, but not little thin lines either. That's passe. Everybody's growing their eyebrows in. And uh, I think they look so nice to define your, your eyes. And then this is a L'Oreal eyeliner. I love this. That little tiny brush in a, whatever color you like. I never use black because my eyes are, are brown and I, I just don't like to have a black look. I use a, a light brown or a medium or dark brown depending on where I'm going. I just line from inner eye to outer eye, upper and lower. And uh, I learned from another makeup artist to go under your eyelashes also. Very important when you're going out at night. It just opens your eyes up like amazing. And then a good mascara. This Givenchy is fantastic. This has three little brushes. You can see, little balls they call them. This gets onto every single part of your eyelashes. And it builds out your eyelashes too. It looks like you have volume where you might not, but it's very good and it really stays on. And then lips, oh my gosh, lips. A little, not too dark liner. You don't wanna make your, uh, you know, you're not a landing pad. You're just a nice little lip, and uh, you can uh, make your lips fuller or less full, depending on your mood. Uh, and it's also nice to have a brush uh, on your um, on your lip liner with uh, that we can pick up your lipstick. And I like I sort of like natural color lips, so I use my my brush sparingly. I don't want to smash it down too much, but fill in your lips moisturize them all the time, especially in the winter time. And all of this can be done in about 10 minutes if you're fast. That's it. Sounds like a lot, right? But once you get into the routine, you'll be able to do a really, really great job uh, on your skin and you'll keep yourself looking fresh and beautiful uh, all day long.